2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at their new home, Pfizer Forum. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Tyrese Maxey out there with Iverson. Then there's Porzingis. Then there's Harris. And it's Embiid in at the five down low. And for Milwaukee, Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. And it's Lillard in at the point guard. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like opening night. Now here's Iverson for Zingas. Under the Kumbo grabs the miss. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. No good from Connington. Iverson against Lopez. Pass to Persingas. Back to Iverson. Kicks it out to Maxi. Two on the clock. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Lillard, the pass to Giannis. Lopez against Embiid. Pass to Lillard. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last Alan play. Iverson. One of the better scorers on the floor. Tough to defend him well without some contact. And AI fights through it this time. Lillard from outside sinks the triple. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. 76ers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Iverson passes to Embiid. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Man, he just sees everything on the floor. Nice vision from Iverson to find the open man. And Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got five points so far. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Hey, Brent, the foundation of the Bucks' success has been their defense. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. They continue to dominate in the paint, but they've also made tremendous strides in how they guard the three-point line, just doing a much better job of getting out there and contesting the three. And the dunk by Porzingis. you got to appreciate Porzingis, a willing screener, and he rolls quick to the open space. Here's Middleton. Basket counts. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Iverson against Lillard. The alley-oop. And Iverson gets it to go. Iverson's got his second bucket of the night. Wow, he put a little extra on that one, didn't he? Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. He's going right at the defense is Giannis right now. And energy just boundless in this game. Iverson passes to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. I love the unselfishness. And you know 
coaches do as well. Well not just coach but you can see it in the teammates the way that they look at him they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. And being that close to the hoop I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Iverson kicks to Maxi. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got his fifth assist in this one. Bucks trail by six. Lillard the pass to Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Middleton outside. Six to shoot. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Middleton doing a good job of being creative and finishing a difficult look. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the 76ers? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. So much good energy and flow tonight, and it's really come out with a great ball movement. The guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Lillard way outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And here's Maxi On the wing, Iverson. Over in the corner, Przingis. Alert against Stiverson from deep three-point land. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by five. Great shot from Lillard. He loves finding space around that perimeter so he can just fire. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis has checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Kelly Oubre has checked in for Przingis. Now here's MB. The three from Iverson. It's rebounded by Portis. Out left of the wing. The shot by Lillard wide open. And it's Lillard again missing. Now here's Iverson. He's got six. That one drops for him. Alan Iverson. Iverson's got eight. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Here's onto Takumbo. Brent, don't you love what a team player Giannis is? And a star with very little ego. One of the things Greg he does so well is deflect everything or reflect everything back to him. It's about him. He'll compliment his teammates and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest level. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for the Bucks. Iverson passes to Harris. Iverson trying to free himself and slam dunk by Harris. You see Tobias Harris coming off that screen knowing he was going to get open before he got to it and did something with it. Beasley against Maxi. The kick out to Hunter Kumbo. Here he goes. Here's Portis. And Embiid with the block. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Shot by Boast and stolen by Lillard. And here's the fast break. He feeds it to Beasley. And the shot goes down. Well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Iverson. He's got eight. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Giannis able to get stops from anywhere on the court. Lillard surveying the D. Giannis kicks to Beasley. Bucks passing it around. Floats it up for Giannis. And Embiid with the block. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. 
Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like oh, that, you gotta look out. Our timeout called by Milwaukee. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Here's Maxi. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Wow, wow. he got whacked. Oh, that shouldn't be much debate there. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Now here's Payne. Here's onto the Kubo, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Hey, Brett, here we're looking at Giannis onto the Kumbo. He's arguably the best player right now in the NBA. Not, not just the NBA, worldwide. That's a lot of space, Kevin, but you're not wrong. He is the best two-way player in the league. With his physical dominance, he impacts the game in ways that no other player can. Now here's White. Outside, Maxi. Here's White. Six on the shot clock. It's so inbound to Jacumbo. And it's Payne in the corner. And a great assist by Anna Jacumbo as that one goes in. No hesitation from Payne that time. Playing assertive here. White with it. Working on Payne. And the rejection by Anna Jacumbo. Beasley into the lane. Second chance shot, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive place, getting it done. Beasley's got his second bucket of the night. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. I love the defensive concentration so far in this one. They're getting out on shooters and really doing a great job of disrupting the rhythm. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal. And you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. And there's the pass to Crowder. Dishes it to Payne. Shot from 12. And it's good for two. Payne's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Puts up a deep three. Here's Reed on target from 13 feet. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Andre Kumbo, no good. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. White with it. He feeds it to Reed. Oubre, left side. Here's White. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. 76ers lead by one. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. action already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and looking at what we've seen from the 76ers what do you guys think boy that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync terrific first quarter they couldn't ask for a better one right now just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes wonderful start so to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers they've got Tobias Harris Iverson is out there with the Anthony Milton and there's Porzingis, and it's Oubre in at the small forward position. Crowder with the steal. Oh, here we go now. Crowder's got it. The fast break chance. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And you can't forget about Jay out there in transition and getting to the right spot on the floor. 
Now Iverson. To the inside. Crowder with the steal. And it's Beasley in the corner. No good on the three. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare to work out. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. First, Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, D.A. For Philadelphia, they have been all for their chances so far in this one. And, Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. Now here's Crowder. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. Crowder just muscling up and playing some man ball in there. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Next game for them, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got his seventh assist here tonight. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. Back to Lillard. Three-pointer. Traps in the tray. Lillard's got 11 points. Yeah, Damian Lillard, this is some Oaktown response. You make one, I got you back. Lillard against Iverson. Shoots over Lillard. Harris. Lopez with the block. And he recovers it. Porzingis can't hit. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Crowder kicks to Lillard. It's good. Get yeah, basket. He's now five for nine. But of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Iverson. He's got 13. Can't cash in from close range. That was a clever move to try to lose the defender in midair there, even if he didn't knock down the shot. And it's Lillard missing. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Allen Iverson. A volume shooter. Iverson stays aggressive on offense, whether he's hot or cold. And right now, he's on fire. Now here's Middleton. He's got five. Fires the three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Milwaukee has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Kicks to Lillard. Middleton trying to break free. And showing why he's so respected around the league. Lillard lighting it up. And here is Iverson. 15 points in the game. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Jacks up a three. And another three for Milwaukee. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Iverson against Lillard. Iverson passes to Persingas. A shot. No good. Bucks leading by five. Three-pointer. Crowder. Good on the three-point shot. Crowder's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. For Philadelphia, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Bucks On Sunday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry. And the Miami Heat. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. 
Then for the 76ers, Reed comes in for Perzingis. And it's wide in for Allen Iverson. Goes up on the high post and stolen by Lillard. And now Lillard pushing it up. No one had to stop him. And Lillard throws it down. Well, for a guy who used to be more proficient in the half court game, Lillard showing that nowadays he's just as dominant in transition. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now a veteran in the NBA. You get the feeling every season is important to Dane Lillard. Yeah, but I get the feeling, Greg, that it's just not enough, these individual accolades and these high-scoring season. Dane Lillard wants to play in competitive basketball late into June, so it's going to be about championships for him moving forward. It's stolen. Now the Bucks moving it up for the finish, and Damian Lillard with the jam. Don't let the size fool you. Damian Lillard, he can get up there. The 76ers trail by 12. Now here's White. Passes it to Melton. Shot to stop the run. The rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Embiid with the steal. White against Connaughton. White the pass to Reed. On the way, Harris. Lock at six. Back to Reed. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Reed's got his second bucket. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Pass to Embiid. It's tipped. Stolen by Middleton. And pushing it up, Milwaukee. The Bucks again in transition. Lillard misses. The 76ers trailed by 13. Melton feeling it out a bit. It's so about It's a Kumbo. He kicks it to Lillard. It's good from long range. Lillard's got 28. And one of the quickest triggers in the West. Lillard says, now you see it, now you don't. Melton passes to Embiid with force. Embiid takes it to him. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, the basket guy still shaking. Harris against Middleton. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Here's Melton. He has yet to score. Harris finds Melton. Two minutes remaining. In the Shot first. clock at six. Two minutes. Down low. Reed. Out to Harris. Let's it go with a three. Wow. Came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past Tobias couple seasons, Harris. especially on the Get offensive end. Shots. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Payne comes in for Damian Lillard. Maxie's checked in for Philadelphia. Payne's shot is good. And Giannis treating the defense like a magazine. Easy reading here for him. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Portis. It's on Bobby Portis. 76 is knocked down, eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers are shooting pretty well. So one for two that time at the strike. Milwaukee leading by 14. On his left side. That one falls. Under the Kumbos, got seven points in the game. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player, his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. White, good. Derek, I mean, the number of points they scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Milwaukee's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Here's Payne. The shot, no good. 
White with the defensive effort. To the middle. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Seven points for Jared White. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Portis finds Middleton. And here's Giannis. Reed covering. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by 12. Harris passes to White. Can't hit from in close. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Here's Maxi, And slam dunk by Maxi. Oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Here's Antetokounmpo, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Great to see Antetokounmpo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but to foul him. All oh, free throws good from Antetokounmpo. Just four seconds left in the first half of basketball. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Bucks on top, up by 12. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He ended up with 28 points, three steals, and one assist. He's got one of those streaks going lately where it doesn't seem. And it's just about time. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. <laughs> that first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, the defense has got to be a little bit embarrassed. There is no reason why he should just be on top of that rim. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the center filling out the middle. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Connaughton, Porzingis with the block. Well, Porzingis, the height, the reach, just overpowering. Connaughton kicks to Lillard. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Here's Iverson. The rebound by the Bucks. At one point, they led by 16. Connaughton passes to Middleton. Connects from three-point range. Middleton's got two. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. Iverson up top, covered by Lillard. And the dunk by Porzingis. Yeah, no need to settle for a layup with Porzingis inside at that size. That's an easy jam. Here's Middleton, rejected by Hills, and he's able to get it back. Count the basket. The 76ers trail by 15. It's tipped. Pass to Iverson. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Inside. And it's Persingas that time on the assist by Iverson. Assist goes to Iverson's got Alan assist Iverson. number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Alert against Iverson. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. And Iverson gets it to go. Iverson playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Anadokounmpo kicks to Lillard. Three, three, three. 
Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lillard's got 30. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. MB. Oh, MB too MB. tough inside. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. That's a two from Lillard. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Persingas has got six rebounds now in the game. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. For the Sixers, it's championship or bust. Noel Embiid said there's nothing to be happy about just getting to the conference finals or the finals. You got to win the whole thing. That's the goal. And every single day, it's just trying to find ways to make that happen. Back to you. Yep, all or nothing. David, thank you. Bucks leading by 11. And Lillard gets double teamed. A shot by out of the combo. Nobody around. Wide open shot is on the money. Giannis has got 11 points. And the 76ers call time here. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. They can get on the same page during this timeout. Take a look here at the numbers for Porzingis. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged about 23 points per, eight rebounds, and two assists. And every team needs a good backup big to spell the starters, and, and that's what he brings to the table. The role consists of rebounding, setting screens, protecting the rim. Anything else he gives you is found change in the couch. That's a two from Lillard. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Persingas has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Iverson right side. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Milwaukee has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. That's his first foul. How many people say officiating favors the offense? Brent, do you agree with that? Absolutely. That's what this game is about. It's about scoring. And so there aren't any rule changes that are going to stop guys from being as potent as they've been offensively. And here we go. The coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul, seeing if that was the right call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult the calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able to a challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Lillard dishes to Lopez. Back to Lillard. Shoots. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Beyond the arc. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the tip. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Payne in for Lillard. Reed, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Kelly Oubre comes in for Allen Iverson. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. The 76ers trail by six. Maxi passes to Milton. Misses the three. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Here's Reed. Shoots a fader. Melton, no good. 
He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Payne kicks to Portis. It's tipped. Milton with the ball. Now guarded by Payne. Here's Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. How about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Here's Lopez. Shooting foul as the foul. whistle blows. He'll the shoot two free throws. Nothing. Second personal Now, we've seen Lopez be more and more assertive in looking for his shot, which in turn draws the defense's attention to him. And he sinks the second. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 17-7 run. Milton with the ball. No scoring in this one. Over Payne. Beasley with the rebound. Beasley's got his fourth rebound in this one. That's the three fly. A three pointer is right on target. Beasley's got his third bucket of the night. He really has a nice stroke as Beasley's jumper is able to fall. Maxi on the wing. On the pass to Reed. And the dunk by Reed. Oh, just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spot. Payne looking around. 13 feet away. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Yeah, defenses are aware. Campaign is going to come at you. He's going to attack the rim. They play him that way, so that mid-range does open up for him. Here's Oubre. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Portis. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Philadelphia ball. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. The 76ers number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws. And I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Maxi finds Melton. Pulls it up. Hippa goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Maxi. Milwaukee is going to less than productive two of six from three point land in the second half. Cloak loose. One forty one left in the third quarter, and he gets the bucket. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. And it's Melton with the rebound. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? Yeah, they've been in the zone for mid-range all game long, and, and they've made the most of any chance they found in that space. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and that outside shot going, it's a big difference maker. And the story of Cameron Payne Brent is one of redemption. Out of the league for a while, but he's come back with a vengeance. Yeah, not only out of the league, Kevin, but remember, he was a lottery pick in 2015. So bouncing around, stints in China, a little bit of time in the G League, I mean, that's determination to get back, have an opportunity, and take advantage of it. From 10 feet out, and it's Lillard missing. And he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Outside, Maxi hands it from downtown. Tyrese Maxi. Maxi's got 12 points now in the quarter. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And Portis throws it down. And Lillard right now at that point guard position has total control of the offense. On the wing, Melton. Good D by Lopez. 
Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Outside, White. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Philadelphia ball. Substitution on the court. One second left, and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Bucks lead by four. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious this time involving the big. We've reached the fourth quarter and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. The pairing up front is Harris and MB. Allen Iverson out there with Derek White. And it's Maxie in at the small forward. Iverson rebounded by the Bucks. Now Lillard. And he banks in the layup. Lillard's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Bucks. And Damian Lillard will go right through you. Passes to Maxie. Kicks it out to Iverson. Five on the clock. Shoots over Lillard. No good off the back of the rim. Milwaukee leading by six. From deep. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And here's Giannis from outside. And it's good assisting on the play with Lillard. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Lillard against Iverson. Outside, White. Now here's Iverson. Guarded close. Shoots over Lillard. Corner shot. Maxi, no good. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Middleton against Maxi, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. So many teams out there are trying to find their next Chris Middleton. This is a guy that works hard, always ready to drop a shot or play defense. So it's a switchblade at that wing position. And the 76ers making a change here. Rosingas has checked in. Lillard against Diverson to stop the run. Here's Embiid. Lopez with the block. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Here's Iverson. Up top, Porzingis. Back to Iverson. Outside, White lets it go from deep. Another miss by Philadelphia. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Connaughton passes to Lillard. They grab their own miss. And Embiid with the block. And the shot is good. The box oh, lead has been cut seven. down now to just nine on the basket from Iverson. And this is where Iverson is so terrifying, running the open floor with such ease and confidence. And Lillard gets it to go. And that's another three. And it, it really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Bucks leading by 12. Fires from deep. And it's White with the rebound. 
I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Iverson with the ball. He's picked up by Lopez. Iverson passes to Harris. Iverson against Connaughton. Good on that shot. And with that, the Bucks lead is get down to nine in the bucket from Iverson. It, it took a long time for him to get that first triple. Let, let's see now, though, if he can get going. No Timeout called the Bucks. It's Pacer time. Let's go. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Kevin Banks was able to listen in on Adrian Griffin's huddle with his team. Told them, pedal to the metal. Adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Don't start celebrating in your head when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Giannis inside. Headed by Porzingis. Off target at the rim. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Stolen by Middleton. It's three on three on the fast break. An open look for Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists in the game. The 76ers trailed by 11. From team Iverson. And White kicks to Iverson. Embiid. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. That's on Brook Lopez. Better than most centers from the line. Embiid exceptional with his hand. For the 76ers. He doesn't get the second one. Bucks leading by 10. It's stolen by Harris. The feet to Iverson. The rebound by the Bucks. Andre the Kumbos got six rebounds in the game. Asks to Connaughton. It's up a three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beats got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Iverson. On to White. There's the triple. And the three ball is good. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And the dunk by Iverson. And go back to the steal by MB. That ignited the break. And Joel's length is such a factor defensively. Here's Lillard. Fires for three. That one's rebounded by MB. And beat. Iverson passes to Persingas. And it's the Bucks on the break. Here's Connaughton. Good. Great play by Miller to set it up. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Now here's Iverson. From downtown. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. That's a two from Willard. They get it back. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Willard against Diverson. Pass to White. This one for three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Now his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Iverson with the ball. Out guarded by Giannis. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contest. Team foul. Middleton looking it over, and he drives in. No mistake about it. Middleton rising up that time for a vicious dunk. Timeout called the 76ers. Timeout you have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. 
Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Connaughton finds Lopez. Giannis outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second that one on Embiid. Well, Giannis is one of those guys, you look at the end of the season, he's going to be up there in free throw attempts per game. So he hits one of two from the strike. The 76ers trail by 10. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Iverson outside. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. The pass to Giannis. Losing his size, Giannis! Inside, Giannis knows he's got all the tools. Height, touch, power, it's all there. Iverson against Lillard. Harris outside. Passes it to Iverson. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Porzingis can't hit. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis is checked in. Lillard from outside. Gets hauled in by the 76ers. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. First personal foul. Second team foul. So the first one drops, and that brings them within the single digits. Good on both. 109 left in the fourth quarter. And Lillard kicks to Middleton. Puts it up. Giannis with the dunk and throwing it down hard. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Bucks. If they had to battle for this one, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to. And that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Damian Lillard. That's amazing defense from him. Seem to know exactly when to pounce on the passing lanes and predictive steals. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. With the drive and the dunk by Iverson. Iverson. You gotta love Iverson's tenacity, especially when he's driving. And he commits Pull the intentional foul. foul. Allen Iverson. Fifth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Giannis He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Well, if you think that Giannis was going to stop working after he won a title, what do you think he's going to do in the years that they don't? This guy continues to be one of the hardest workers in the NBA. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, it's just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. 